Hello student, welcome back to IMS. Let us begin with some of the best questions of applied maths in CUET. I'm beginning with the first question. The first question says, a container contains 50 liter of milk. From this container, 10 liter of milk was taken out and replaced by water. This process is repeated two more times. How much milk is now left in the container? This question is of unit 1 of your handbook given by CBSE. Now, what is the formula for this? This is x1 minus y by x to the power n. Now, what is x, y and n? Now, x is the initial value, that is 50 liter. y is the value which is going to be replaced, that is 10. And n is the number of times it has been replaced. Now, how many time, number of times we have to replace? Of course, it says two more times. That means three, not two. That means it will be 50, 1 minus 10 by 50 to the power 3. Now, this becomes 50, 4 by 5 cube. This becomes 50 into 4, into 4, into 4 by 5. But this becomes 10, this becomes 1 and we have 10 into 64 by 25. If you multiply by 4, you will get 256 by 100, which will going to give you 25.6, which is our first option. Correct? Now, moving to the next question. In this question, you have to find a maxima and a minima. Now, you have given a function of uh, real number to a real number and it is defined. You need to find whether it's maxima or minima first and then we will move on. If we see a maxima and a minima, then we will differentiate this. So, we are going to get 32x minus 16 and if we do the second differentiation, we are going to get 32, correct, which is greater than 0. This is a case of minima. This is the case of minima. So, we have written here maximum value of fx. Now, a is in first, third and fourth. So, we can easily eliminate this because our answer is going to be an minima. So, our option would be 2. Now, moving to the next question. The next question says, a company intend to create a sinking fund to replace at the end of 20th year asset costing rupees 2,50,000. Then the value of the amount to be retained out of profit every year if the interest rate is 5%. Now, this is a question of sinking fund. We will make a separate video for a financial mathematics. For now, what is the formula for a sinking fund? It's R equals to A into I by 1 plus I to the power N minus 1. Now, here A is the amount, I is the interest portion. So, if I take I, this will be 5%, that is 5 by 100, that will become 0 0.05. Now, R will become 2,50,000 into 0 0.05 divided by, look, we have given this value. So, we will do 1 minus and that will give me 1.6532. Now, you have to do the calculations. We can escape it. So, after calculation, you will get 7561.09, which is a third option. Just remember the formula. You have to just use the formula to get your answer. Thank you. Have a nice day.